Hello children, welcome back. Today we will study motion. Now before studying motion, first of all you should know about rest. What is rest? When an object does not change its position with respect to its surrounding as time passes, then it is said to be at rest. So, you can define rest as a body is said to be at rest if it does not change its position with respect to its surroundings as time passes. Clear? So a body or an object is said to be at rest if it does not change its position with respect to its surroundings as time passes. So in case of motion what do you say? In case of motion what will you say? You will say a body is said to be in motion if it changes its position with respect to its surroundings as time passes. So let us write down. With me, you also write down. Clear? So this is rest and this one is motion. Now, whenever you will come to motion, you must know what is speed. How will you define speed? The distance covered by a body in unit time is called its speed. SI unit of speed is meter per second. Got it? Now, since SI unit is meter per second, this is a standard unit, not kilometer per hour. But generally speed is given in kilometer per hour. So you must know how to convert speed given in kilometer per hour into meter per second. Right? So let me give you one example. So here is an example. What is the speed of a body in meter per second if the body moves at 36 km per hour? So, speed is given as 36 km per hour. So, how will you convert it into meter per second? Let us see. 36 km means 36 into 1 km by per hour means 1 hour. That is equal to 36 into 1 kilometer is written as 1000 meter and 1 hour is written as 
60 minutes. Now again, 36 into 1000 meter by 60 into minutes is written as 60 seconds. Now let us cancel. Zeros are getting cancelled. So what is left? 10 meter per second. Got it? So, 36 kilometer per hour can be written as 10 meter per second in this way. You will have to find out. Now, what shortcut method I am teaching you? Let me show you the shortcut method. Speed is equal to 36 kilometer per hour. So, this can be written as 36 into 5 by 18 meter per second directly. No need to go through all this. Watch, watch. But you should know how it is happening. So, in place of writing so many things, you simply multiply with 5 by 80. This fraction you remember means this kilometer per hour is being replaced. This kilometer per hour is being replaced by 5 by 80 meter per second. Understood? So, now you see 18 ones are 18 twos are. So, you get 10 meter per second. Which one is easier my dear? Definitely this one. Now, supposing opposite is given. Supposing speed is given as 20 meter per second. And you have to convert this speed from meter per second into kilometer per hour. So how do you do? Here, you will write the same fraction, but revert it. See how. 20 into, in place of 5 by 18, here you write down 18 by 5. In place of meter per second, you write down kilometer per hour. So it comes to 18 fours are. So easy. So you understand? So if you want to convert speed given in meter per second into kilometer per hour, then replace this meter per second by writing 18 by 5 kilometer per hour and multiply this term with the given numerical value. So here 20 meter per second can be converted into kilometer per hour by simply multiplying this 20 with 18 by 5 and writing kilometer per hour as the unit. So you get the answer straight away. Whereas 36 km per hour, if you want to convert into meter per second, multiply this 36, this numerical value, multiply it with 5 by 18 meter per second. Clear? So when from kilometer per hour, you are converting to meter per second, means in lower unit, remember, in lower unit, then 18 will be at the denominator. Means 5 by 18, this 5 by 18 fraction is less than 1. So this lesser fraction is to be multiplied. And when you are converting from meter per second to kilometer per hour, means from smaller unit to larger unit, then opposite. 18 by 5. Now 18 by 5 definitely the fraction is more than 1. So for larger, you have to multiply with a increased fraction or increased value of the fraction. And for reducing from kilometer per hour to meter per second, you have to multiply with decreased value of fraction. Understood? So, today I told you how to differentiate between how to convert speed given in kilometer per hour to meter per second and speed given in meter per second to kilometer per hour. Clear? Okay. Next, we will do tomorrow. So, children, I think you have understood. So, try to practice as many numericals as possible of this form in your rough copy. Tomorrow <coughs> we will do average speed. So you must like the video, you must subscribe to the channel and you must share the video with as many friend, as friends you are as possible. Okay? So try to share this video with all your friends and you must maintain your rough copy. Whatever I am writing, you must write it down in rough copy. This will be of great help to understand it afterwards. Thank you. Till the next video.